this is possibly one of the most neutral things you will ever see in life. This right here, this nine millimeter bullet, round nose, is neither good nor bad. And yet, it can be used for either. It can be used for good or it can be used for bad. Now, this is permanent. Once this goes bang and this separates from this, there's no taking it back. No matter what the intention is, once it goes bang and this comes off, life changes forever one way or the other. And when you have a respect for life, you put so much thought and effort before ever wishing to have to use this on anyone. Because with that, you end everything that a person was and is. It's like that episode from The Walking Dead in the first season, episode 6, I believe, called TS-19, where Dr. Jenner says, you know, everything that that person was and is just is no longer there. And you change two lives with this, at least two. One, the recipient of the person who receives this. Two, the person on the other end who gave this. Now, even if it's justified and even if it was, say, self-defense or law enforcement in a shootout with a bad guy, that person gets PTSD, man, gets traumatized. Because you essentially took away that person's soul. All the memories you can think of, you know, that person's life that you just ended was at one time a little baby, a little two-year-old, a little three-year-old, a little kid who used to laugh, get into some trouble, you know, who used to watch cartoons and have dreams of what they wanted to be. And the same goes reverse. You know, if you, any of you guys have bad intentions out there and you use something like this to end another person's life, you destroy everything that person is and you touch the lives of their family. Now, there are times where, in my personal opinion, it's okay to use this and it would be in self-defense of life. Meaning, if I feel threatened to the point where I think somebody's going to intentionally try to take my life, then I have the right responsibility to make sure that I defend my life or those around me. You know, when seconds count, law enforcement are minutes away. So if something goes down, you only have seconds to think about it. And the choice that you choose... Leads to either the cops coming and finding your body because you didn't have the means with which to protect yourself or you took too long to think about it or you couldn't pull the trigger. Or two, they show up and they still find a body, but it's not yours. But you live to see another day. But even then, and even in that kind of situation, your life is forever changed. So it is nothing to be taken lightly when using this. Even for recreation, hunting, target shooting, you know, things happen, accidents happen, negligent discharges happen. This thing is neither good nor bad, like I said. You know, this right here. Without being loaded into a gun, just sitting in my fingers like this, it's not going to do anything to anybody. 
I can tap it, you know, it's not going to explode, it's not going to do any of that. But this right here is life and death. It has the power to save a life or it has the power to cause death. And I'm just saying to all of you guys out there who want to glamorize a particular lifestyle, I'm going to tell you, man. A lot of people are sitting in jail right now just because they chose to use this in the wrong way. You know, and there's a misconception now. Every time somebody sees this, they want to ban people from having it. But they forget about the thousands of incidents across the United States that happen every year. Where somebody is saved because of something like this. And not from law enforcement. From people who are licensed to carry. Or if you're in an open carry state. Somebody who was who defended themselves or their family. From somebody intending to do harm unto them. Was something like this. Or whatever the weapon might have been. A knife. You know their hands. I mean you have. A 300 pound guy, right? Trying to overpower a 120 pound woman. Who do you think is truly going to win? Once that 300 pound guy wraps the hands around her throat, it's pretty much over. But if she has the means to protect herself in that kind of situation, then that becomes the great equalizer. She has a chance to get out. I'm not saying you're going to do some zombie land double tap to the head. You know, you use the necessary force that you have to to make sure that you're okay. And the reason why I bring this whole thing up is with this COVID-19 stuff. A lot of people are buying these right now. And guns in which to shoot them out of. Now you're having millions of new guns flooding the homes of people in the United States. And people are realizing how crazy the world is that they might actually need something like this to protect themselves in a worst case scenario. This isn't something to pull out to try and intimidate somebody. That's dumb. You have to follow that old adage, if you show it, then you better use it. Because there's no point in showing it if you're not going to use it. All you do is cause bigger problems for yourself. And if you use it, you better be 100% sure when you pull that trigger, just like law enforcement, they're, they're accountable for every bullet they fire. In the military, you're accountable for every bullet you fire out of that rifle. Same thing in the civilian world, whether you live in the underground Being a member of an organization, or if you're a st law abiding citizen exercising your Second Amendment right, everybody is held accountable for every bullet they fire. It's just the amount of the level of scrutiny differs depending on which one of those ends of the spectrum you fall under. I don't glamorize this right here. But the fact is, there are people out there with bad intentions who have this and worse than this. You have people who don't respect life. People who aren't afraid to take one. You have to always be vigilant. You have to be ready. You have to be prepared to do what's necessary. Especially in this time of pandemic and the unknown. Take the whole Latin King thing out of it. Take the whole gang lifestyle out of it. Like I said, I don't use this in my day-to-day. -day. I don't advocate criminal activity. I live my life righteous, which is why I'm able to carry legally without fear of being slapped with a felony. Because throughout this over 13-year lifestyle I have never engaged 
and criminal activity because I was led correctly and I lead others correctly. I believe grades are more important than carrying this. Knowledge is power, not this necessarily. This anybody can use. A brain, not everybody knows how to use it. So focus on what's good in life. Let's get through this pandemic together. Stay in quarantine. Stay healthy. I'm just saying. you got to be prepared for what might happen down the road. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. ADR, this is King Black.